And you see what it says. It says Stevens A-list, all-time HBCU athletes. I'm not talking about your performance in HBCUs. I'm talking about you coming from an HBCU and all that you've done. Let's go to my top five list. Give me number five, please. It'll be Michael Strahan. Why, Max Kellerman? It's not just because out of Texas Southern, a brother ball, he was an All-American. Then he goes to the Super Bowl, wins the Super Bowl for the New York Giants. Oh, by the way, a sack leader, single season, all-time sack leader. But in case you missed it, he's on Good Morning America. That's what makes him top five, okay? Let's go to number four on my list. Jerry Rice. I should say why, but I really shouldn't have to. The greatest receiver in the history of football. 1,500 plus receptions, 22,000 plus receiving yards, three-time Super Bowl champion. Even went to a Super Bowl with them damn Raiders. He's the greatest receiver in the history of football. Let's go to number three on the list, please. Give it to me. Walter Payton, a.k.a. Sweetness. Why? You know what he was. The man played at Jackson State. He was sensational there. He goes to the NFL. He was sensational there. He went to Super Bowl championship in Chicago. Once upon a time, he was an all-time leader in Russia before Emmett Smith came on board. There's no debating this. Let's go to number two on the list, please. Give it to me. Earl the Pearl Moreau. Winston-Salem State University. A guy that averaged 40 in college. A national champion in college. Oh, Max, by the way, the brother brought an NBA championship to New York City. Oh, they called him Black time. Jesus. Black That's all you got to know. This is what it was all about, okay? And we're going to go to number one on the list. I could say a Doug Williams easily black man that won a Super Bowl championship, but Steve, the first actually, but Steve McNair can't ignore how great he was at Alcorn State, can't ignore how great he was in a National Football League. Even though Doug Williams had a Super Bowl, McNair, some would argue, had a better career. But by the way, you see this top five list with Steve McNair, number two? We're going to move him. I don't want to rip this up. I'm sorry. I have to. Because what I want to do is take Earl the Pearl Monroe and put him at number one. Because, damn it, he went to Winston-Salem State University. What's up, y'all? I just finished the HBCU week. I'm here with the crew, my former teammates at Winston-Salem State. This is Monte Ross, assistant coach at Temple. They're going to do some things there. He's always plotting something. <laughs> you know about this, brother. What's up, man? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Great to see you, man. I think everything went well. <laughs> this, is, this guy right here, this is the model. That's what we called him. Phil had all the ladies in college. He really did. He was smooth as hell. He really, really, really was. I'm serious. I mean, Phil, Phil was something special. We called him the model, you know. You know, in Spanish class one day, I couldn't believe it. He dropped some Spanish lyrics or something. <laughs> what, the what the hell's going on here, Phil Hayes? What the hell? Wait, look. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Do it right here. Now this is Mark. He's fixing his tie. He's fixing his tie. He's fixing his tie. You know what? Mark had a problem with the ladies early on. You know what that was? Let me explain. Let me explain. The problem. The problem he had with the ladies every time he tried to rap to them, he went like this. First of all, no, no, not at all. That's what he said. Now, now he married. He macking, rocking the beard, and all of that stuff. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know, that's a, you, what? 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 This guy hasn't had hair since he was 19, so it's what you call envious. <laughs> that would be Spank. That's Spank who he's talking about, my man Gary. He's right now, by the way. You got accounting issues. You need somebody to handle your money. Mm. This dude right here, he know what the hell he doing. My man, my man. Appreciate you having us, man. He lying. He just looking for an excuse to start laughing at me. Well, you right. <laughs> I could get on you, though. <laughs> where's Skate? Where's Skate? Skate, where you at, man? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? How you, doing, man? you all right? Yes. Now, Skate always looks sleepy. <laughs> All right, he always looks sleepy. He will knock your ass out, though. Don't mess with him, no. I did. Did I, did I tell you I love you, bro? Yes, did I did. tell you I love. I, love I gotta, you I gotta tell him I love, love him. I gotta tell him I, I gotta tell him I love him because he kicked my ass. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, wait, 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 Boris. What's now, up? What's up? What's this up? brother right here. What's up? He came all the way from Minnesota. Yeah. Let me tell you something. He got two beautiful kids. 
I don't know how in the hell he could do this to them, have them living in Minnesota. Cold ass Minnesota. I don't know how cold it is. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It was 30 below when we were at the Super Bowl. And you ducked out of town. Yes, I did. I didn't duck. I left. There's a difference. I said, hell no, I'm getting the hell out of here. These are my boys. Good to see you, baby. You too. Love you, man. You know, my boys in the house. I'm just getting emotional right now. I'm just getting emotional. My boys came to see me. I'm so touched. I'm so touched. I got to go. I just need some tissue right now. <laughs>